Hey guys, I am with Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about accessing fields with generic S object. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with today's video. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys. And now you can proceed with the video. So S object fields can be accessed or changed with simple dot notation. So if we are having any specific S object or any specific Salesforce object, definitely we can access any field of that Salesforce object using dot notation. Now, we have to make sure that some fields cannot be modified. Otherwise, we can get some apex runtime errors or exceptions. Now, these fields are system generated fields. For any Salesforce object, we have fields like created by, like last modified date, like created date, or some fields like formula fields. Now, these fields are automatically generated. The values to these fields are automatically generated. We cannot insert any value over here and hence we cannot modify these values. Whether we are working with any kind of Salesforce objects, these types of fields cannot be modified. So we can access them, we can get values from them, but we cannot modify values in these fields. Now, if we talk about generic S object, we can retrieve only the ID field with a dot notation. So if you are having a generic S object, if we are talking about generic S object, then dot notation can only be used with the ID field. We cannot use dot notation to access or to modify any other field. But at the same time, we can use get method or put method to access any other fields. Definitely dot notation cannot be used for any other field other than ID, but get and put method can be used over there. Now you have to note it down that if you want to perform operation on a generic S object, then it is recommended that we first convert it to a specific Salesforce object and then perform that operation. So here you can see we are writing down a so-called query. Definitely we haven't discussed about so-called query yet, but to tell you in simpler words, we are trying to fetch record from account where type field is prospect. So any record where type is prospect that specific record is returned now there can be more than one records over there but here we are restricting this whole so-called query to return only one record that specific record will be stored in s now to get the id of that specific record we can directly access s with a dot notation as s dot id and as i told you id is completely valid id can be used with a generic s object using dot notation and in the next line, we are typecasting this S to a specific Salesforce object, account object and assigning it to account variable ACC and then fetching the name. If we will try to fetch the name directly with S, it won't be possible. Yeah, of course, we can fetch the name using the get method, but directly with dot notation, it can't be possible. And hence, after that, we are fetching the name and the type of the account. Definitely here, you, if you want to fetch the name and the type with the S itself, you have to use the get method. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of accessing fields. So in this video, we will see how we are going to access fields of specific S objects and generic S objects. So let's open the developer console. So click on the gear icon and click on developer console. And from the debug menu, open the anonymous window. Now in previous videos, we have seen that how we can create a specific S object and how we can access fields of that specific S object. As you can see here, we are accessing field type and assigning a value to it and also assigning value to field name and active of the account object. Now we have also seen that if you will mention any specific field which is not existing in the object, then you will certainly get an error. But there are some other fields of an object which you cannot access like there are fields like created by last modified by which are known as system generated fields so you cannot provide values to those fields for example if we see the fields of account object so let's click on this gear icon and click on edit object and from fields and relationships you can see all the fields of account object 
and among these fields there is a field as created by and a field as last modified by so if you want to assign values to this let me try to assign value to the last modified by id that is last modified by field of account object so let's go to the developer console and let's try to provide value to this field now this field accepts a user id so we can use a specific user id over here as you can see this field is a lookup relationship to the user object so let me fetch the user id of of the current user itself so we can click on the profile icon and click on the user name and we can fetch the user id from the url and let's paste it here where we are trying to assign the last modified by id now if i will click on execute i will see this error as this field is not writable so the system generated fields cannot be assigned definitely we can fetch the value of that specific field whenever we are using a specific existing record but when you are creating a new account record then you cannot assign values to these fields the same is true for all the formula fields so if there is any specific formula field existing in your object you cannot assign value to them now let's talk about the generic object so suppose if i am having a generic s object variable as obj now here i am going to write down a sql query now this sql query is something that we will understand later down the line so definitely there might be code that i am going to write now which is not understandable but certainly we will discuss about them in detail so you can ignore whatsoever i am writing as part of the sql now you can see i have created an s object variable and with the help of some sql query i am assigning a specific account record to this object i can print this using the system.debug and let me show you what it will print so you can see it is printing the account id and the name of that specific account which is existing in our org now from this object we can fetch value of id so i can directly do that with dot notation so obj.id and definitely if i will execute this it's going to print the id of that specific record now let me try to access the name as well so i am copy pasting this debug and in the second line i am trying to access the name field now let me execute this and you can see the error so id is one of the field which you can access from a generic s object but other fields of a specific s object cannot be fetched with a generic s object variable and if you will try to do that it will not recognize it and it will show it as an error now to fetch the id there are plenty of ways you can do that of course by using the dot notation you can fetch the id you can also do that with the help of get method so you can pass obj dot get and then you can pass the field name as the key so if you remember get methods we used to use it with map right so you can treat this record as a map and each field name as the key of the map right so here i am using obj.get and passing the field name as the key and definitely it will also print the id of that record and the benefit of using a get method is you can access any field of object even by using a generic s object so you have noticed that if i am using dot notation i cannot use any field other than the id but if i am using a get method i can even access the name field or any other field of the object so if you are using a generic s object make sure that you other than the id field if you want to access any other field then use a get method for that now let me show you the output and you can clearly see with the help of get method i can access any field of the specific s object by using a generic s object so get method is quite useful similarly when you are creating an s object you can use put method to assign values to specific field as well but in case if you don't want to use the get method and you want to access other fields then in the last video we have discussed how you can convert a generic s object to a specific one yes by using the type cast so what you can do is you can create a specific s object variable and type cast this generic s object variable to that specific s object variable and certainly after that you can use the dot notation to access that specific field and this will give you the similar output so guys make sure that the system generated fields like created by created date last modified date last modified by cannot be created or cannot be modified 
Similarly, formula fields cannot be created and modified when you are using a specific S object or a generic S object. When you are using a generic S object, using dot notation ID is the only field that you can access. Other than the ID field, if you want to access any other field by using a generic S object, then use either a get method or type cast that generic S object to a specific S object and then you can use the dot notation as. So guys, that marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.